Look at the cloud of smoke, man. That's what rock and roll's all about. Well, it seemed like it was a secret for a long time. Yeah. It was an old building, like 150 years old, in the basement, had this musty smell. And what I got out of it was, Jeff was gonna open a club. Surprise, surprise, ladies and gentlemen, it is Jeff Healy here. Basically, we made this list, and everyone on our list played there. Steve Lukather showed up in the pad, Steve Lukather and Jeff. He loved Jeff. They were, like, really good friends. April Wine, Mountain, uh, David Wilcox, Kim Mitchell, Ian Gillen from Deep Purple. I was at Healy's one night, the club, the club that he had downtown. And then we were sitting there, and he said to me, well, Rand, here we are. I'm saying, Jeff, you, you got him, kid. You got the audience. They're on their own way in. They love Jeff, they wanted to hear the blues, and we'd play and they go, you know, this is, this is, if this is jazz, I like it. We began searching for a larger space, and that's when we found what would become Jeff Healy's Roadhouse. I'm so glad to be here at Healy's brand new Roadhouse. And unfortunately, with him passing away in early 2008, he didn't have the opportunity to continue on making those changes within the new club. The club had a big effect on traditional jazz musicians. That vibe was a very special thing, I think, on the Toronto scene, and we don't really have that anymore. Well, like in Toronto, yeah, yeah. And without Jeff, who could be that person? Yeah. If you were playing there, you were somebody. A venue in Toronto that people knew they would never be disappointed. Tickle them notes, you know. <laughs> it was a chance that you might go in there and see Jeff Healy jamming out, you know, and really stretching the boundaries of music. It was our answer to Stevie Ray Vaughan. 